You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we're now going to be talking all about the Swale Film Society on the telephone. Firstly, thank you very much for joining this. I was hoping you could uh, introduce yourself to our listeners first of all. Yep. Um, hi there, my name's Helen and uh, I run the Swale Film Society. And we have been working in partnership with Ideas Fest at number 34 High Street, Pittenborn, um, to show a free film on the first Wednesday of every month. Um, we, we're really, really passionate about encouraging people to seek out movies that are being shown in the local area. And we also like to connect with like-minded people through their shared love of film. Um, we have a very active Facebook, Twitter and Instagram account where you can not only find out about what films we are showing, but also what other film societies around Swale and the North Kent area have on as well. So it's uh, well worth um, subscribing to those to keep an eye on what's going out um in our area, but also others as well. Yeah, that's it. I mean, the whole purpose of the Swell Film Society is we have this free film event, so we're accessible to absolutely everyone. And we do provide, like, uh, refreshments and popcorn as well, and it's a really good atmosphere. And it's just um, a nice, relaxed place. You come and watch a film for absolutely free, um, and there's not a lot of places that you can do that. And, uh, yeah, like, as I said, we also promote all the film events that are going on in the local area. So, that you know, if people do want to get out and see films, then coming to us is a good place to find out, you know, what's on and when. Now, there was something particularly you wanted to let our listeners uh, know about, I understand. Uh, yes, that's correct. We do have our uh, next free film coming up, which is on Wednesday, September the 7th. And we're actually showing the uh, critically acclaimed and Oscar-winning film Birdman, um, which was actually released in 2014. Um, so, yeah, the doors open at 7 o'clock, film starts at 7.30, and we're showing it at Ideas Fest, which is number 34 High Street, Bittingbourne. So there's uh, lots of films, I suppose, you could uh, could show. Um, what made you decide to pick this one? Uh, well, this one in particular, um, we decided to go for because it is quite a mainstream film, um, which we think a lot of people would have heard of. And uh, so we thought that might encourage people to come and see it. But it is quite different in that it is a black comedy. So it's kind of not your usual um, sort of film that you'd see it does play uh, on the satire of um, creating a theatrical event and about an out of work actor who was once like a big movie star and now he's trying to prove his worth as like a proper actor by treading the boards. Um, so yeah, we thought it'd be quite a good sort of different film for people to see. And I assume quite a nice, um, friendly atmosphere when you go along, because obviously ideas test at number 34. It's not a, a big cinema, is it? It's it's quite a small space. Yeah, that's correct. It's a very small, intimate venue. Um, yeah, so it's nice and cosy, and it's very good, because once you're sat down in front of that big screen, you're kind of immersed in the film, um, which is really nice, because you can just focus solely on that. And... Uh, yeah, like I say, like the doors open at 7 o'clock, so if you want to come along for a drink and a chat first, you're more than welcome to. Like I said, we have popcorn and a selection of tea, coffee and cold drinks, and that gives people an opportunity to sort of talk about the film and like what else is on in the area. Um, but also after the film as well, we normally have a little chat. I mean, you don't have to stay for it, but it kind of helps um, increase people's enjoyment of the film. I, I find that if you, you know, talk about it and everyone shares their opinions and... Yeah, it seems to be a good way to sort of share your love of film. Well, yeah, that's often the case. After you've watched a film, don't you? You often want to sort of talk about it or, um, um, you know, sort of surmise what might have happened or what did happen. So, you know, having that opportunity is um, probably quite nice. Yeah, it's really good. And it's so good to hear, like, different people's opinions because, you know, you could have sort of 20 people watching a film and... You know, one person might pick up on something that no one else has, so it's really nice to be able to give people the chance to sort of say, oh, did you recognise this, which is uh, something you definitely don't get when you go to the cinema. 
No, no, it can often give you, I suppose, a better understanding because it's very easily, if you're watching a, a film, you're probably surprised how, you know, there are little bits you miss but other bits you focus on and the bits you focus on other people have missed. So you can really um, get the sort of full, um, I suppose, um, not benefit, but the full sort of what went on in that film by chatting afterwards. Yeah, that's exactly it. I mean, I think you do get a lot more from it and you find out a lot more as well. Um, before every screening in that half an hour between 7 and 7.30, we do actually have a slideshow running on the big screen with all facts and information about the film and um, about the actors that are in it, just to give people a bit more sort of a background on it. Um, and we also have um, postcards that are designed that we hand out, which has a fantastic, um, unique illustration on the front by a, a local artist. And uh, on the back, there's all sort of little bits of uh, information about the film that you're about to watch. And we give those out free so you can take them home and, you know, keep them as a souvenir of like going to the film. And it also gives you some facts and information about the film you've just watched. So if people would like to um, come along to this show and, of course, other showings that you're doing or find out more about um, how you work, uh, do you have um, useful contact details and websites they can do that? Uh, yeah, we do. Um, we're on Facebook um, as Well Film Society. You can find us there. Um, we are also on Twitter um, at Well Film Stock and on Instagram um, at Well Film Stock as well. Um, and one of the things that we are starting to do now is put together a zine um, and we'd really like it if anyone does have any film reviews or any illustrations that relate to film, if they would like to get in touch with us um, they're more than welcome to contact us through any of those sort of social media channels and uh, send up in, us any of their work and if they'd like us to put it into the zine and we'd love to have some contribution from uh, the film lovers out there. So just to finish off, refresh our listeners uh, where and when this uh, showing is on. Okay, uh, yep, so we're showing Birdman on Wednesday the 7th of September. It's at number 34, um, High Street, Sittingbourne, which is the ideas test building. And the door is open at 7 o'clock. Film starts at 7.30. Um, refreshments are provided and it's absolutely free. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for telling the listeners all about that. No problem.